Ladies and gentlemen, there are only two things that are certain in life. Death and taxes. God knows salary clad people like you and me are dying under the burden of taxes. 30%. Political parties, of course, are exempt from paying taxes. But today, the Congress is facing a tax trauma that has blown up into a full-blown political fight. Now, yesterday, as the Congress party and the opposition was sharing the burial of the electoral bonds by the Supreme Court, the Income Tax Department decided to do its own surgical strike on the Congress party. It froze the party's bank account over the non-payment of taxes. It's a bit complicated, but simply put, this is the story. Essentially, in 2018-2019, that financial year, five years ago, the Congress generated an income of about 199 crore rupees. Then, the Congress party didn't file its returns on time, and so the IT department slapped a penalty on them, which has now ballooned today to 135 crore rupees. So there are two figures that you need to remember. 199 crores is the income generated and the income tax department slaps a penalty on that 199 crore income. And what is that penalty? It is 135 crore rupees. Now, ladies and gentlemen, timing is everything in Indian politics. Two months ahead of elections, the IT department decided to hit the Congress where it hurts. It went ahead and froze the accounts of the Congress party and the Youth Congress. The Congress obviously cried conspiracy. They went public with the freeze and then they appealed with the IT department. Hours later, the accounts were allegedly unfrozen. But, 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 there was a big but. So first the accounts are frozen. Then there is a press conference by the Congress. The Congress goes to the IT department. The IT department says, all right, we are unfreezing your funds. But there is a caveat. The IT department said the accounts, the Congress party, would need to maintain at least a balance of 115 crores in its account. So we are unfreezing your account, but the minimum amount of money that you need to maintain in your account is 115 crore rupees. An impoverished Congress told the media they simply don't have that kind of money and are not even in a position to pay salaries or electricity bills. Listen in to Ajay Makan, who's the treasurer of the Congress party. Congress party ke accounts पर ताला बंदी हो गई है कांग्रेस पार्टी के अकाउंट्स फ्रीज कर दिए गए हैं हमारे देश में लोकतंत्र पर ताला बंदी हो गई है और ये कांग्रेस पार्टी के अकाउंट्स फ्रीज नहीं हुए हैं हमारे देश में डेमोक्रेसी फ्रीज हुई है और ना केवल कांग्रेस पार्टी के कल शाम को यूथ कांग्रेस के भी अकाउंट्स फ्रीज कर दिए गए और यूथ कांग्रेस और कांग्रेस दोनों के अकाउंट्स जो फ्रीज करे गए हैं 210 करोड़ की रिकवरी इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट ने यूथ कांग्रेस और कांग्रेस से मांगी वेल आई थिंक इट्स वेरी क्लियर दैट इट इज ए रिवेंज एक्शन अगेंस्ट द डिसीजन ऑफ द ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन द इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड केस येस्टडे इट इज द वेंडेटा that the government has taken the action through income tax department i have heard that all the congress party and youth congress bank accounts have been frozen but this is an attempt to harass the congress party in its preparation for the forthcoming lok sabha election whatever trouble they can create for the congress party the government is trying to create because they are not sure whether they are winning the 2024 lok sabha election 